It was 2.42 in the afternoon on a Monday. I woke up in Maryland at Tom's house. We planned to spend the day in the city of Annapolis, the motto of which is, I have lived and I shall die free. The original motto was actually in Latin, but I doubt anyone who lives there speaks Latin at all. Though, most people probably don't know that the city actually has a motto anyway, because that's just not something that is typically common knowledge. So, the original language of the motto is really not relevant at all, and, uh... Um... Uh... Anyway, I realized I didn't fool myself actually waking up, so I did this instead. On the way, I explained in great detail how we were getting to our destination. We're gonna drive down this road, then we're gonna turn to some other places. Then Tom taught me about the Navy. Naval Academy. Very That's cool, where the Navy man. Gets, gets taught. I rambled for a while about a weird live wizard rock thing we did, which there will be links. Also, I made fun of people who always have links. I'm naked in the tube, did you? <laughs> and Tom was incensed about people who use other words for the description besides doobly doo. Easy way to came up with a really good name for it. I have nothing to say about this, I just thought it was funny. Say hi, Tom. All we can do is hope. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on to hope. We went to a restaurant and spent a lot of time freaking out about how it was empty except for us and we were free to vlog all we wanted. This is probably copyrighted. Also, we ate crab dip. I ate a calzone and am baffled as to why I have 15 seconds of footage of this item on the menu. As we were by the harbor, Tom spotted President Obama reading to some small children, who appeared to be a solid group of youngsters. Eh? Eh? Solid? I had heard talk that I should try the best hot chocolate in Annapolis, and so I did. God, that's good. These penguins stuck it as well. Also, there were these decorated spoons, which were neat. After the empty restaurant and Obama and penguins and spoons, we drove in this traffic circle approximately 33 times in a row. You'll find it all here in Maine. Which got me thinking about the circle of life. And, uh... Are, are these types of videos supposed to be profound? We saw a statue of Martin Luther King, uh, but, but he was too black to film, so Tom tried to demonstrate his stance. Buddha. That's deep, right? <laughs>